Hello, namaste to everyone. This is our third series on leaflet. Okay, we have already uh, inserted uh, or just look about how to render map, you know, how to get the center value, how to change the zoom control, any other map options, and uh, many more things. How to find locate, you know? and so many things we have done here. I will show you through uh, here. I am running in server. Okay, we are at the zoom level of 13. Whenever we click on the map, it zoom into our, it says our location. It zoom into our location, and that's we have already made. When we click on marker, it say our location, and we have added the custom icon. Uh, and when we hover over this, it say I have created a marker, something text, you know, which we have already made. In this today series, we will go on watching uh, how to render the image uh, file. Okay, for the image, I want to just make a uh, year. Uh, so whenever we click on image tab on the, the nav bar, then the image will be rendered. Okay, for this, I will go to my code, and I will copy paste uh, the same code when we are making the leaflet with mapping nav bar, and I paste it. And I don't need uh, image here, so I comment down. And instead of uh, leaflet with mapping, I need a uh, image images when we will go, gonna make some that thing like whenever we click on this image uh, we will got uh, we will get uh, image uh, on our map when if we do not click on this image then we will not get okay that is our concept so okay just I will make an idea of images not image not images I will make idea of image and for this I am going to use jQuery so I am going to download jQuery CDN jQuery I think you you have already know about uh, the jQuery if you don't know you can search on video on YouTube there are so many other video about jQuery okay I am uh, copy uh, going to the jQuery site and I am getting on compressed jQuery this uh, tag and I will put into my code before custom CSS, you can put it on the end of the um, your code uh, below the body tag also, or you can okay. I just give it commented as jQuery, uh, and I will paste that code here. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, we have made an idea of image, so we will go onto our script tag. Whenever we click on ID image, okay, we will gonna make uh, sorry. Or to write the jQuery code, you need the dollar sign and double quoted. And for ID, we need has and ID name image 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 image. Whenever we click on that image, then we will gonna run a function. Okay, uh, the function will work will be here. Okay, just check whether this uh, image is uh, this click function is working or not. So I am just uh, giving an alert. Hey, it's working. Okay, uh, it's working. Okay, let's see whether it is working or not. We have image tab here, and we join the whenever we click on image. Okay, it's not working. Why? Let's see. I think we have given the name of ID different. I am a G E. it's working i think it will be gonna work sure for now whenever we click okay hey it's working yeah whenever we click on image it's uh, say hey it's working okay i don't need this a lot so i comment down it in these things we really want our image to be pop up so for to how to do that okay uh, for this here is a documentation good documentation you can go here and read how they are going you can go and image overlay and here is the example how you can uh, give okay i will copy paste this and i will expand you how it is working control c and i am giving control v here okay we have created a image url variable uh, which gives uh, the image okay we i am using their own image so you can use your custom image also by downloading uh, here and okay shift all that yeah okay after that here is image bound which give the geographical uh, it will uh, give as a rectangular uh, so this is one for the one corner or one diagonal and this is for the another diagonal okay we will see on the map how it's work and uh, you will really go 
get it okay um, and this is image overlay okay uh, image overlay is the uh, instance or uh, image overlay objects given the url image and geographical bound to tie it okay okay if you don't know how to how, how these lat long bounds work you can go to that lat long bound and it's created a rectangular geographical area of the map and it give uh, the diagonal value okay you can give up these two uh, diagonally opposite corner of and the rectangle is like this in that way this image bounds this coordinate gives the two uh, diagonally opposite coordinates okay here is an event okay i will show you one event uh, when ever this uh, image load then only we can just that image will zoom on on that uh, on that place okay so i am clicking uh, telling images okay i am giving a variable name images and i will make something like this uh, whenever is image okay hmm. Whenever events uh, we call a event handle call on whenever it load okay whenever it load it will call a function events function and uh, it uh, load the map will be load on that image so my map is on my map variable dot fit bounds okay we are using fit bounds means uh, it uh, zoom onto that geographical uh, layers and we will give that image bounds to this coordinate system this rectangular coordinate system so we will uh, give that variable name okay let's see it's working or not mm. okay whenever i click an image uh, the image is i think is on processing i think it's there something error or not okay map is not defined where is map I have not used map. Uh, sorry, map is not defined. I have copied their code and they have kept the map in map element. Uh, but I have the my map variable, so I have to make that to the my maps. Okay. And whenever I click on image, image gone load and it's zoom into that place where our image is. Okay, it's on UK and it's a new work. Uh, United States, but we are at here in Nepal. Okay, whenever we click on image, it directly moves to that location. Whenever uh, the working procedure is that, whenever we have the image URL, this is in the image where you can insert your own image. Here is the uh, image bound, the coordinate of this uh, two rectangular point, diagonal point, this point and this point. Either this can be this and this point, or this can be this or this point. Okay, you cannot give this point coordinate and this point coordinate. And uh, we have uh, put that uh, image overlay onto a variable name called images. We have added that at the same time. But whenever we click on image, when the image load on the on our website, then it directly zoom or fit bounds to our image bound location. Okay. If you really want to know where these are coordinates is, is, uh, are real or not, so we will uh, add a mouse um, coordinates. Uh, in the bottom left here now for this you have to go to call the mouse position mouse coordinate on leaflet after that here is a uh, first uh, git of code uh, uh, you can go there you can download from here or you can clone it or you can download zip okay after downloading zip uh, okay i i will download it on my working folder there is leaflet okay i have already downloaded it so they it's showing that it's been already downloaded okay here is uh, the zip file you can extract here from your extract file uh, you can directly extract here mm, do extract here and it has been extracted here and how to use it here is the uh, good readme and you can just use that mouse uh, position control uh, point on your code just copy this code and okay i am giving a comment called mouse coordinate and, uh, r d i n a t mouse coordinate and i paste it here okay here is our variable called my map and so we have to make changes of my map but it will not work here okay 
there is no any mouse whenever I over over on the mouse there is no any coordinate okay because we do not here you give anything yell dot control dot mouse position is not a function it's telling you because we do not have included their css and js file uh, in our code so we will include their js and css file in our code so we will go uh, above the custom css and we will give something comments or just mouse coordinate mouse coordinate and for to link a css we type for link and we go to that location here this is on leaflet mouse position master and in the source tab and in the yell dot control master css and we have to put your uh, js file also for this sorry we go to the script tag with source and give their uh, source code for lift Mm, their js file uh, leaflet uh, yell dot control dot mouse position dot js code and okay let's see in our map is it working or not okay yes whenever we over give make our mouse over on our map it giving its latitude and longitude value whenever we click on image it will gonna load when you zoom into that uh, level and you can clearly see that's our this coordinate is really matching to this uh, this coordinate uh, this coordinate in this way you can uh, create a, a overlay your image and here there are other option also you can try to uh, try to here is and by default it's opacity okay in this year you do not see the your base layer uh, or your image layer just showing your image but if you really want to show some of your image part also or web map this uh, web map also then you can change its opacity for this go to that uh, image overlay here and you can change uh, the option according uh, to your need okay you can just go here and change your option let's look opacity opacity is uh, changes to something called uh, the by default there will be one will make 0 0.5 okay let's see what will happen here okay when we click on image okay, image gonna load and oh yeah you can see uh, your base layer is also uh, seen from here yeah you can do according to your need how many opacity do you need and here are so many other options uh, give the alert text for the attribute of image file okay you can add another option called alert alt alt and give the string here this is a topo map okay whenever you hover over here it will gonna load okay whenever way it is not giving a lot text for and alert attribute of the image useful for accessibility yeah? and you can add interaction and all those things you really want uh, according to your need and you can add video uh, on your image file also okay i will quickly show you how to add uh, video overlay i just copy paste their code and so on my control c okay i'll uh, make a tab called video and i will whenever i click on that it's the video will also uh, so okay we'll make your video b i d e call video i will copy uh, this id And I'll go into here. Okay, I'm again using jQuery. Where you click on that, you can add other option also. Not only not just a click, you can give option called a double click, right click, key press, anything you can uh, according to your need. And I will copy and paste their code.
can use your own custom video image file also but for now i am showing you with their video when, okay let's make uh, something variable called video okay. it has also the same uh, event just called load okay just copy this code and you can paste it here and make changes we do not have image here we have video uh, as a variable so we'll make a video on load function make okay image bound is changed to the video bounds okay and here is something to change and my variable inserted on my map so i will make changes to that my map whenever i go to my here okay what has happened here sorry Okay, I do not, I forgot to insert this A tab. There is an option called video, whenever you click on video, I think it's gonna show it, uh, the video on United States, you can make your own video and display on your map. It really do not need to give that uh, video URL, but you can um, di directly download and use it here and give the video bounce. This is this also video bounce are also of uh, uh, opposite two corners coordinate, this corner and this corner coordinate. So you should be take care about these uh, coordinates where you, you exactly have to render your video. It, otherwise, it does not make any sense. Okay. This much for today and uh, in the next video we will gonna talk about GeoJSON, how to add GeoJSON file, how to uh, make the marker cluster and something more uh, and uh, we will make a video about Postgres SQL and leaflet in upcoming videos so please uh, be keep patient for that okay thank you.